Hello, welcome to Cypress Automation. This is Sureful. We're going to start a brand new tutorial regarding Cypress Automation. This is going to be number of uh, tutorial, and we'll try to cover end-to-end -end automation in terms of Cypress. So this video is all about uh, very basic things about Cypress, like what is Cypress, why Cypress. Uh, why Cypress is different than other uh, tools and uh, the architecture of Cypress. Okay, let's start. So, the first question what is Cypress? So, Cypress is a next generation front end automation testing tool built for the modern web application. So, it's very straightforward. It means if your application based on a web, like it's uh, built on Re React or JavaScript, you know, Node.js. So, you know, any any uh, application based on web, Cypress can help you to automate your application in end. It means it can do it your unit test, it can do it integration or your in end testing. It's a free and open source. So. You know, like other software, like other automations, uh, example Selenium, it's similar, it's a free and open source, but very powerful. It's built on Node.js and it comes packaged as an NPM module. It means as it is built on Node.js, it uses JavaScript for writing the test. But n I would say 90% of coding can be done using Cypress in build command which are easy to understand. Cypress also builds uh, with the jQuery. Sub so, sorry Cypress also comes uh, you know as a bundle with the jQuery and inherits uh, many of uh, jQuery functions. Okay so and uh, Cypress it comes with its uh, you know own functions some own comma uh, commands and we'll see in later on uh, videos. It's growing so fast, so it's a weekly NPM download average 530k plus. So you can see it's a Cypress. It's uh, you know getting popular very fast. It's dramatically it's increasing and accepting. Next is how Cypress is unique than other automation tool. So Cypress. You know, there is. A, this is some of the few key points. You know, there's a lots of talk. You know, lots of points that you can talk about why Cypress is unique than other uh, automation tools. I just, you know, giving you a very basic and very high level idea. Cypress automatically waits for a command and assertion before moving on. It means, uh, you know, any other tools like uh, uh, Selenium, since uh, Selenium is very uh, popular nowadays. So in Selenium, if if you want to you know apply uh, you know uh, weight like implicitly or explicitly weight, you have to write the code to do it. But Cypress, it's a waiting command. It's inbuilt weight weight commands comes up. You know behind the scenes, Cypress mechanism or engine will wait for uh, you know for the for the command you know and it will follow the order. So. But on the top, still, if you want to put more a uh, local weight, you can do it. Next is the uh, ability to test edge test cases by mocking the server response. It means, you know, since Cypress in you know, a directly work or directly talked with the browser, there is no server between the Cypress uh, script and uh, browser. So, you know, Cypress can easily mock the server's response we know the server's response it could be like uh, you know two or two hundred it could be four or four so it can change it can you know change the, those response uh, you know in terms of our testing ability when we need it can do it we'll explain later on Cypress takes snapshot as uh, your test run through test runner test runner is very you know UI uh, you know um, uh, 
web features of Cypress that you know give you the clear picture uh, how the test is run. It's very um, incredibly nice uh, you know features. Uh, you can see this is a de I mean a test runner is a desktop version of GUI level of 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 Cypress. So it means you know uh, it help you when you hover over your command or your script in test runner uh, you know you can see exactly what happened at each each and every step before and after so there is a two part in test runner I will you know in the, in a bit m moment we'll see so one side your script will be there and another side you will it will show the you know snapshot of each and every script uh, you know as per the every script line and also you can see the before and after uh, view so that's give you really control to debug your script if any step is failed you can narrow down you can debug it you know where exactly you know failed you know what was the reason next is uh, view videos of your entire test ex execution when run from the Cypress dashboard. Cypress dashboard is another incredible, very powerful web features, you know, uh, that's none of the, you know, automation tools can give you. It's give you, you know, end to end all debugging features like, you know, you can, it will automatically save your videos, save your screenshot, so give you the total report, like how many test cases was ran, how many was passed, how many was failed, some lot more, you know, analytic reports too. So it's a separate, but it's integrated, you know, web, web features that comes with the Cypress. It has, you know, uh, uh, some, uh, you know, paid version also, like, you know, it's, uh, I think it's up to three user. It's a free, but it's more than three user if you want to use uh, Cypress dashboard that you have to pay. But that's a Cypress dashboard. So those are the few very key points that makes Cypress unique uh, and uncomparable with the other uh, automation tool. So let's have a very you know very simple Cypress architecture so most testing tools like Selenium operate by running outside of the browser and execute remote commands across the network if you are familiar with the uh, Selenium uh, you know that how Selenium works like to uh, to work Selenium you need a Selenium you know uh, uh, according to the browser you need a driver like for Chrome you need a Chrome driver for Firefox you need a Gecko driver and so on so that's a driver receive your command uh, like your script and it's translate and and then it's a uh, you know uh, tr translate and it's it's uh, then it's talked with your browser and gets the response and also that pass to to the uh, so you know our uh, 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 our uh, uh, automation output. So there is a always you know the server it works at the middle. So it means you know uh, in Selenium your browser cannot directly talk or or run your script. But in Cypress you know there is no middle person. So you know your script directly talked with the browser. So that's why it says it's a, you know Cypress engine directly operate inside the browser. So it means it has more control on the browser. So this enables Cypress to listen and modify the browser behavior at runtime by manipulating DOM and altering network request and response on fly. So it is it means you know on the other hand we can say it is the browser that is executing your test code. This enables Cypress, as I said, you know, you can manipulate your uh, network request and response by using Cypress. I can give you a very simple example. Say example, uh, we we all know familiar with the 404 error. It means when you you request, you know, when you send some request and you you has a, some sort of server issue and your server is not responding as you request you know we get output in our uh, you know our web page or web application it says page cannot find or unable to display 404 so how as a automation developer how you can test that kind of response 
that means you need ha you need a scenario that will you know give you like actual real scenario that your server response uh, or server will not response and then it's and then it's supposed to give you 404 error but you can mock that kind of you can you know um, you can mock that kind of response because you have to you, you don't know when your server will be response in real life actually you know that kind of you know uh, 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 scenario will happen but if you want to test it you know you have to make that kind of scenario so how are you gonna make it so that time you know you can since Cy Cypress can control uh, you know the network request you can mock the response server response from 200 to 404 and then when it's server is you know the response is coming from a server 404 your output on your on your web application it's supposed to show you the you know the error message like okay the the page cannot display so that kind of scenario you can you can arrange you can make it you know by using cypress you know the the power you know the power of cypress that it can by manipulating its response network response uh, or server response okay so that's one of the very simple uh, example that cypress can do how powerful is cypress okay and just uh, and just to let you know it's the more you know this is very high level in a simple introduction uh, tutorial about cypress you know we're in upcoming lecture we're going to do more details each and every component cypress like you know we'll have a separate video for dashboard separate video for, video for test runner cypress other components cypress command you know um, different framework uh, uh, like you know mocha framework mocha chai framework and also bdd frameworks different type of report you know it's so all those things so we will have a separate upcoming video so let's uh, just you know overall what we, we have talked about you know i'm just going to give you some very basic uh idea in cypress websites in their site this is cypress website okay cypress.io that's their official website so just two things i'm going to show you uh, first is about in there from their website you can see if we talk about uh, test runner so we have just a little idea about test runner right so I can show uh, show you how the test runner works so this is the look of the test runner so when you run your script you know there will be windows something like that you can see in the left side your it will show your script and the right side it will show you you know on fly outcome of your script so if any one of the you know uh, uh, script or line gets fail you know it will show on the right side also exactly you know what line was failed so it's gonna be it's a very powerful to debug your you know uh, uh, your uh, failure test cases or any element doesn't find you know uh, lots of other things you can do you can see you know if you go to their sites you can see also you know how we can help you to debug your test cases okay also how we can help you to allocate or locate your uh, web element all those things you can do by the you know test runner and this is also you know uh, UI look and next is uh, we had a little bit talk about Cypress dashboard so you know the, how the dashboard is going to look you know it is a separate uh, you know web features of Cypress that will show you you know uh, you can see uh, it's this is the, some some kind of look that will show you the total number of test cases ran fail and it will show you you can see this video screenshot the failure out everything it's it's something like that it will you know tell you that uh, all the where it's failed you know exactly and it can you can play the video it will show exactly where was the fail and it it will show you the screenshot you know it's, it will sh sh tell you the how many you can see this is screenshot okay like this so it it is a complete you know analytic to you know features that uh, no other automation tool can give you so stay tuned 
you know there's a more uh, video is coming you can just uh, follow and and do the practice when we'll do the real project and it will it will be fun it's 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 a lot of fun and uh, this is I can we can see this within a you know a couple of years you will see the Cypress is gonna be hot cake in the market like selenium nowadays thank you so much and uh, and once again you know stay tuned watch the upcoming uh, videos have a good one